Dear friends. Welcome to RPA Tutorials. In this video we will cover, how you can install the new Automation Anywhere control room. For the purpose of this video we will cover the express mode of installation. At the time this video was created, the latest version of Automation Anywhere is 10.5. Let's have a look at the prerequisites before you can start installing the application. You should have downloaded the Automation Anywhere application installer files from their support site. You should also have the IIS web server enabled and SQL server database instance created. Also verify whether the machine you have chosen for control room installation conforms to recommendations shared by Automation Anywhere in their installation guide. If you are having trouble with the prerequisites, subscribe to our channel now and watch our video on how to download Automation Anywhere control room application installer files. We will now demonstrate how to install the control room. Run the installer in administrator mode. The installer will now self-extract required files for installation. Click Next. Here you can select the mode of installation for your control room. For details on installation mode, subscribe to our channel now and watch our video on different installation modes and possible architectures of Automation Anywhere control room. For this demo, we will choose Express Mode and click Next. The installer package checks for all the necessary software prerequisites. If there are any missing, it will prompt you of the same. Click Install to install the missing components. Select appropriate option and click install. The installer will now begin to install. On completion, you will be prompted with the URL of the newly set up web-based control room. This would be your machine name, colon, the port to which the URL is bound, slash, control room, slash. By default in express mode the port used is 8080. Select launch control room and click finish. Now since this is your first login to your control room, you will be asked to create the administrator of your control room. Enter details and click next. Now you will be asked to set up security questions for your admin account. Enter three questions and their answers and click submit. The next screen will show confirmation that admin user has now been created and will ask you to log in. Enter your admin user credentials and click on login. On your first login the control room will ask you to install a license. If you haven't purchased one, simply choose, continue trial. Automation Anywhere offers 30 days of trial license to all first time users. For the purpose of this demo, we will use the trial license. As described in our control room components video, the 10.x control room comes with a credential manager to store user credentials that your task will require to access third-party business applications like SAP, Oracle etc. The credential manager has a master key. You can choose to either maintain the master key manually and use it every time you need to connect to the credential vault. 
or you can choose the express mode and the control room will store the master key in the control room database, in a secured manner. For this demo, we will choose express mode and click on the arrow next to it. Voila! That's it! You are now inside the new Automation Anywhere 10.5 control room. Automation Anywhere will prompt you with some quick steps to get started. Click on Dashboard to access the central console of your control room. This brings us to the end of this video. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos on RPA and Automation Anywhere tutorials. Feel free to comment on the video below or email us for any suggestions, feedback or questions.